so today we will see next chapter that is control statement basically control statement chapter is divided into three parts first is branching statements next looping statements or it is also called as iterative statements branching statement is also called as selection statements looping is also called as iterative statements and third is jumping statements okay so control statements means you can give control on the statements that type of statements are called as control statements clear previously we will see only statements there is no any control on that statement all the statement if the program having the statement that the statement get executed now we will make some control on the statement whether the, that statement is executed or not based on the condition okay so first type is branching or selection statement in that there are again number of statement that is first is if statement then if else statement next next step if else statement then fourth type is switch case and ladder if else if ladder there are total five types of selection statements or branching statements okay we will see uh, what is the syntax and what is the exact meaning of that and problem statement based on each of that type all these types are called as branching statement or selection statement because based on the condition we select the statement if condition is false we cannot select that statement so these statements are called as selection or branching or we can make the branch branching that is either one body is executed or other other body is executed which is depends on the condition of that branching statement or selection statement clear after that looping statement or iterative statement there are total three types of loops first is while loop then do while loop and third one is for loop okay so what are the syntax and best examples we will see later on next type is jumping statement all these types are called as control statement that is all is all the types are control statement basically okay again these control statements are divided into three types branching or selection looping or iterative statements and last one is jumping jumping statements are break continue next exit and move all these statements are called as jumping statements because they when break statement is there then either we can break to the current loop or current switch statement so this is jump from one statement to another go to this is also called as unconditional jumping depending on only label we can jump forward or backward in your code so all these are jumping statements clear we will see their examples later on first we will start from branching statement clear branching or selection statement so based on that first if statement what is the meaning of if statement simple if statement syntax is if condition parenthesis complete curly bracket and here body of if or it is called as statements okay whatever we write the statements are written in the if this is called as body of if clear only simple if statement in marathi only zar clear zar condition zar true asel taras apan kay karnar execute the body otherwise body is not executed if condition is false okay here condition is true means 
at the execution time runtime compiler or runtime environment put 1 if condition is true that means entry to the body of if otherwise if the condition is false it is treated as 0 and there is no entry to the body of if statement clear based on that there are two problem statements on if first is first problem statement is input any number okay that is that means take any number from user and print hello print only hello message or hello word message on the console if if with condition what is the condition that the number is greater than 50 means if the number is greater than 50 then and then only print hello otherwise don't print hello okay so there is condition on print statement what is the condition number is greater than 50 and number is taken from user okay that means what is the output displayed on the screen so this is the text mode window on that first message is enter any number this is the message then on the next line cursor is blinking from taking the number from user suppose user enters 40 and press enter that means 40 is less than 50 so there is no hello message that is there is no message on the screen so this is only the output this is only the output of the program if user enters 60 60 on the console okay and press the enter then only message is or hello world okay clear this is our output screen clear so start writing code so first is hash include include two header files stdio.h next include con io.h header file ok start with main function void main next first thing give the message on the console ok for that we have to choose which statement printf statement this is also one statement printf but it is not a control statement if statement is a control statement and which category selection statement because depending on that condition we can select the body of if or not it depends on the condition so it is called as selection or branching statement clear so first statement is printf message that is enter any number slash n that means cursor goes to next line next scan f percentage d d for decimal value and take that value in any variable suppose no that is any number so declare that variable at the first line of your function integer number okay so when we use any variable declare that variable at the start of any function here in main function we can declare integer num integer is a data type and number is the name of the variable okay <coughs> next at the next line now we want to check what value user enters in this variable number clear so check by using control statement in that which statement is exist selection statement or branching statement for that if then condition and then body of if loop ok we know the what is the body of if loop we print hello if the condition is true so what is the statement or body of if loop if if statement that is printf double quotes hello we want to print hello on the console but when when the condition is true so what is the condition number is greater than 50 then and then only we want to print hello on the console so number we take the number from user in the variable no clear now check whether it is greater than greater than 50 ok 
case. That is the condition. This is the comparison operator. We will already saw what is the meaning of comparison operator. What comparison operator returns? Comparison operator returns true or false. If the condition is true, it returns 1. If condition is false, it returns 0. And if the condition is true, means 1, then and then only entry to the body of if. Otherwise, cursor does not goes to the body of if. Okay. Next, last statement is freeze the console that is get ch semicolon then curly bracket of main company. So, what is the execution flow of this program? First, first, NO. Memory management. This is your random access memory on which number memory management is there. Two bytes are reserved for NO number variable. Next, print it, enter any number. This message is printed on the console. Next, slash n means cursor goes to the next line. Next, scan n. Percentage D. For that, cursor is blinking. Okay. For taking values from user. Suppose user enters 60 and press enter. This value is moved to the address of NO variable. Means here, NO variable addresses exist. Suppose address is 100. That 100 address location, 60 values go. Clear? This is your random access memory, that is primary memory, that is RAM. This is your console or text mode window and this is your main window that is where you type your code. Okay? Clear? Then, after entering the value, 60 is assigned to the number. Now, check. Next statement. If number, this value is taken from user, that is 60. Greater than 50, yes, condition is true. At the run time, condition is true means run time environment put 1 instead of condition. So 1 means entry to the if. So cursor goes to the if, body of if. What is the statement? Hello. And this statement, hello is printed on the console. Next, curly bracket of if is completed. Then cursor goes to next line that is get ch means to freeze the console and you got the output like this. Clear? And last main function terminated. That program gets terminated. So this is the simple program based on if statement. Understood? If condition and body of if. Clear? This is the first problem statement. Now Second problem statement based on if statement. Check whether the entered number is positive number or not. That means take the number from user, any number from user, clear, any integer number from user and check whether the number is positive or not. If it is positive, then message number is positive, clear. And if it is negative, don't give any message. Only what is the problem statement check whether the enter number is positive number just only that if number is positive give the message number is positive if number is negative don't give any message okay so use simple if statement so what is the changes first what is the output screen okay enter any number user enters the number if number is 60 that means that number is positive so message is Number is positive number. So number is positive. Clear? This is the output we want. If user enters minus 60, then there is no message on the text mode window. Clear? So this is your expected output. So same code takes one number from user, declare one variable number. Enter any number, give the message using printf statement. After that, scan a statement, percentage D, double quotes complete, comma, ampersand of number, semicolon. Next, now condition is different. So, what is the condition now? Message is also different. Okay, so message is if number is positive, then only print number. Number is positive. Double quotes complete. Okay, 
now we decide the condition. Number is positive, means number is greater than 0. If user enters 2, number as a 2, 2 greater than 0, means entry to the if statement and number is positive message is displayed on the console and if and if number user enters minus 2 if user enters minus 2 means minus 2 greater than 0 condition false ok and this operator greater than this is a conditional operator which returns 0 or 1 if true condition is true then it returns 1 if condition is false then it returns 0 means now here minus 2 number greater than 0 this condition is false means this operator greater than means comparison operator returns 0 returns 0 at the runtime so 0 means no entry to the body of if so directly cursor goes to the gate cs directly cursor goes to the gate cs statement so there is no any message on the console or text mode window clear so these statement are these problem statements are based on if statement just if clear okay so today we will stop here